Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome to Timberborn, the first of several games I'm planning to play in 2022. New games that I'm planning to play on the channel. This one's been on my radar since it was announced in Early Access. This video is not sponsored by the devs. One day. One day. But we're going to start off, and this is going to be doing the Tuesday-Thursday slot for at least the month of January. So if you do like this series, please continue to watch them, comment, interact with the videos. It is a metric for me of how well or poorly these games are doing and how well the, or poor the videos are doing. So I can kind of, you know, see what the you, the viewers, want to see from this channel. Uh, like I said, this game is not early access. If you want to pick up this game after watching the video, I'm going to have links to where you can find it in the description. Let's go ahead and create a new game. When you play this game, as of right now, I'm recording this on January. January 2nd, you have two factions that you can pick from, and I'm going to put an asterisk by that here real quick. First off, you have the Folktales. Easy going, but hard working. Folktales are expert farmers. They respect nature, and it rewards them with plentiful bounties. Their motto, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. The second faction that we can't unlock just yet is called the Iron Teeth. Defectors of the traditional timber ways, they mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard the environment. Their motto, work hard, work hard. To unlock the Iron Teeth, you have to have an average well-being of 11 while playing the Folk Tales. And I've already played a little bit of this game. I played for a couple of hours just to get a feel for it. I did the tutorial because I didn't want to actually do the tutorial blind like I've done in the past. I wanted to have a little bit of a feel for the game before I really got going. I'm going to do the 256 by 256 Plains map. They have some lake maps as well. You have terraces, a lot of options, but we'll just do the base map here. Right now, you have three difficulties, easy, normal, and hard. Easy, it's essentially a relaxed city building experience. Plenty of resources, beavers consume less food and water. The droughts, which I'll talk about here in a few moments, are rare and short. If you're playing on hard mode, humans did not make it and neither will you. Your settlement starts with scarce resources, droughts are severe and become even worse over time. Sharpen your incisors. And you also have normal mode, which will do. You want a challenge. Settlement starts with moderate resources. Droughts are milder at the beginning, but intensify over time. The droughts in this game do last between about two to three days in the beginning and in the later uh, cycles. I think it goes as high as like six, seven, maybe ten days on that. One thing I do love about this game, just in the little bit I've played, is this artwork. The devs who are working on Timberborn did a great job with this. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And you have all the little beavers walking across, doing their little thing. Hi-ho, hi-ho, we're beavers, off we go. You have, it looks like a beaver dam there. You can see the settlement in the background. And we're going to call our settlement Beaverton. Now we'll do Beaver, Beaver Bay. And apparently I cannot learn how to spell Beaver Bay. All right, and we'll go ahead and we'll pause this here. Here's our little settlement. So you have this fertile land indicated in green next to the water. Ha-ha. And you also have this arid, this dry land indicated in kind of this gray brown type situation um, we have some berries here we also have some wood i haven't even i paused it so quick all the beavers are still inside uh our district center right here and let's go ahead we're gonna need to do a couple of things let's get the beavers out there we go we have 11 beavers seven adults four children no homes yet and we also have five beavers listed as unemployed basic resources in this game you have science Okay, it's maybe not a basic resource. You have materials, food, logs, and water. So we're going to need to get water going relatively quick. We're also going to need to get some stuff going. Let's go ahead and slap a path down going about this way. And we'll go this way too. Let's go ahead and do some food gathering. We'll put a gatherer flag right about here. This will uh, The outline it shows you how much is going to be covered by that. These are free to build the gatherer flags. I also want to work on getting some water going. Water pumps do take 12 logs to build. And I'm going to put that right about here. It looks pretty good. That little arrow that you see there, that indicates the path that has to be available for it. So we'll do that guy that there. And for the trees, we have to designate which areas are going to be cut. So we're going to designate all of this and all of this. And of course, we can unmark these cutting areas like right here we don't need to have like all this is cutting areas because we're not doing any cutting there right now and let's go into our wood we'll need a lumberjack flag this also has a radius but i do need to kind of have this one in a spot where i can get this section too let's go maybe here ah perfect that's a great spot for it right there and i'll put another one next to it here 
make sure we can get all those flags up. And from there, let's just go ahead and start things up. You have your little speed, cycle one, day one, you have your global view. You can actually go between your districts if need be, because this map is pretty big. Well, these guys do that. I'll show you what we have. There's a lot of land out here that I haven't explored. Hey, look, here's some scrap metal. Um, we can actually use that for some metal, too. They also have an underground ruins. Uh, whatever humans or humans were doing down there, it sure required lots of metals. This is our water source where all the water is going to be coming from. And there's actually the water itself flowing. Looks pretty dang good. We can demolish these barriers to bring out some of the land. And let's actually do that down by our settlement. Let's do this. Let's demolish this little barrier. And I'm going to go ahead and have you, get it, have you do that too. And we are also producing uh, logs here. Looks like we got, yep, we got two going for that. And watch the soil after I demolish this. Come on, there we go. Now you can see the water coming in. Watch this green soil at the top of the screen. It's starting to spread out a little further. So you can kind of tell where, how far, how cl or how close you need to be to the river for things to be growing pretty dang nicely. We do still have this little bit of arid area here, and you can do some terraforming with the map later. You have this landscaping ability. You have dynamite. It can actually destroy terrain and actually reform the map into your image. Um, we are going to need to build a dam at some point. I do actually want to try to stop this river. So we're waiting on the logs for that. Once we have the uh, river dammed up or at least put a levee in, we can kind of preserve some of the water that we have for the droughts. Droughts come at the end of each cycle, and the cycles last about two weeks. So with these cycles eventually ending, um, we are going to see some real problems with our water consumption or water availability, and we want to make sure we have plenty of water available for our beavers. Now, ordinarily, you could put like a water wheel here because, yeah, we're going to do some power as well. We have our uh, water wheels here, and they can be placed in the river itself. You can actually just build a wall of water wheels, mind you, but that takes a lot of wood to do. And I don't want to be spending... I need to get these logs uh, utilized first, and then we'll probably do some other stuff as well. We're going to need to build a log pile and a bunch of other things too. Go ahead and speed things up, get our water tank constructed. There we go. We now have some water being produced, but... It only holds 15 gallons of water. So let's do a another water tank. We'll do two more there. Just two for now. And I'm actually going to bring the pathing down to here, and eventually we can do stairs to go into the water. Because, hey, beavers are aquatic. Hey, hey, who'd have thunk? So we'll actually be able to do something with that as well. Um, I see that this is starting to fill up, and these only hold a little, they don't hold a ton of logs, so we're going to need to have some storage built up for the logs as well. This is our lodging options here. We also have the ability to do some farming as well. I'm going to hold off on doing any farming for the time being, because we have plenty of food right now. A lot's getting done on day one. I'm kind of okay with this right now. All right, there we go. First night. And the beavers, since they don't have any homes, they're really just going to find a spot and crash. Yep, there they go. Some of them are going to sleep now. There we go. They're cuddling up together. They're sleeping. We'll speed things up, get us into the second day now. All right. And if you look really closely up here, this is actually the day-night cycle in the game. So we're going to be doing a few things as we go through all of this fun stuff. Let's start off by... Well, I do want to talk about some of this stuff as well. Here you have what's called a forester. This will allow you to plant trees and bushes, but to do that you need an inventor. Hey, somebody has to do all the science in around here. So we'll go ahead and get some science in going. I'm going to put that here. And I'll explain why there in just a second. Yep, yeah, perfect. 
We'll put them back there because eventually we're going to need to have a warehouse going. Hey, we already got another beaver that grew up. That's a good thing for us. Go ahead, actually. Take this path out this way. Wait. Let's delete that path. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. All right. I'm going to delete that because in addition to the berries, we can grow our own food. Hey, look, we can build a farmhouse. Put the farmhouse right there. You can do multiple farmhouses, of course. Have this whole area become just a little farming area. And we'll go ahead and plant some crops here. We'll plant a bunch of carrots. Mm, not a lot of carrots, but it's going to be some carrots regardless. Got our, got, almost got all the logs here. Let's get that built up. There we go. Now we're going to start diverting logs over to this guy. As soon as we get a, this built up, we can start doing some research and get the forester. But to get the Forester building, we're going to need planks. Hey, look, we're going down a rabbit hole very, very quickly. I think I'll build the materials to do that over here, or I'll do it a little bit over here by the water itself. Here we go. We got... Oh, I saw something going there. We have no unemployed beavers in the uh, colony right now, which is okay. Looks like we're waiting on a bunch of logs here. Thankfully, we have plenty to pick from, and these little seedlings, these will eventually grow up and become full-fledged trees that we can mine. Now, for power, you can do a power, uh, power wheel, which essentially you have to use a beaver to uh, operate it, or you can just do a water wheel. A water wheel, I'll actually put him kind of snugged up here in the corner. Once this is done, we'll get a couple of beavers assigned to that. I'll take the beaver off of this uh, task right now. And we'll most likely uh, put one here for planting purposes. There we go. I took one of the beavers off of that, so now we have beavers that are just focusing on planting. I think we had some folks getting hungry, which is why these uh, this is going to be helpful. A lot of beavers taking a little nap out where they are. And I am going to plan on building some residences for these folks before we get into this first drought. Now from here, this is where the lumber mill comes into play. And you can actually build these things right direct next to the structures that you're going to be needing them. So for this case, I'm actually just going to build it right there. This way, when it has all the materials it needs, the power will go straight into the lumber mill, and the lumber mill will actually get constructed. Uh, it'll have power right there. We are halfway there for the logs on this, and these this area has been designated for chopping too. So once the beavers are done in this area, they'll probably come grab these guys too. Let me go ahead. I'm going to take one guy off of this and put this guy on. This way we can start to keep harvesting the berries that we have. And we're about halfway to what we need for the forester, but I actually need to get two things researched. We have the forester, which will let us plant in bushes and trees. Also going to need to have a dam, and also a levee to block up the water completely. But I want to make sure these two are built first. That way I can get the forester built, and then... Um, oh, we have an unemployed uh, beaver. Perfect. There we go. So we have some power being produced. That's good. 
And note that the beavers that are over here, they're bringing logs to the lumberjack flags. They're not going to build. You have beavers that are running from the district center out to that, and they're bringing the materials down to the lumber mill or wherever the construction is being done. Um, I definitely could uh, pause usage on the water pump for the moment, but I want to make sure I've got plenty of water. It's probably going to necessitate building a couple of more, a couple more, excuse me, uh, water pumps in the future. Actually, hang on a second. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Yeah. I'm noticing something here. When I did this initially, I didn't have that section blocked. I'm just going to do five there. That's a hundred logs. And now I'm going to need to get, excuse me, seven planks for the forester. To unlock him, I need just a few more science. There we go. I'll put him kind of like right here because he can do the he can do much of the area from this one position, and he's right by the T intersection too. We got the carrots going to be ready relatively soon. We are running low air quotes on food, but we are gathering some, and we're going to have a bunch of food available here right now. Uh, new grass needs hunger, and this is the well-being I was talking about when to get the iron teeth. This is where this stuff's going to come in. All right, and of course, it wouldn't be a early January video as I'm working on this without discussing some of my goals for 2022 on the channel. I did this in last year's video. I think it was Surviving Mars. I was talking about my goals for the year, and I just want to touch on those a little bit as we go right now. Uh, first channel goal for 2022 is to get my sub count up to 2,500. That's actually going to be my sub goal for the year. Right now we're on 1,700 subs. So if I can get that, it's it's going to be a lofty goal to get 800 subs in the course of a year. I don't think it's going to happen, but I want to go with a big, bold goal as I'm going into this. Also building my first lodge right now as well. Uh, second goal, get 5,000 views on a gaming video. Um, the RTAA and Sources, they have plenty of views, they're huge for the channel, um, but this is a gaming channel, and I want to see if I can get some <laughs> some views on gaming videos. Kind of a big thing right now. I've got all the planks I need, so I'll turn this guy off for the moment. Go ahead, yep, I'm gonna be good on that front. Uh, third, need to be better at posting video links on Twitter as stuff is coming out. I have a Twitter account, I have uh, less than 20 followers as of right now. I'm not super active on Twitter, um, mainly because I don't use it that much. When I got out of the news industry, I wanted to have something a little bit less to do with dealing with a bunch of angry folks on Twitter. So I do need to get better at using Twitter. Uh, next up, do this is a holdover from last year. Do a collaboration video with another creator. Um, I was really thinking I was going to be able to get a chance to do one with Bozius. Um, he was now a huge Civ Six commentator. Um, he was, uh, when I started following his channel, I don't want to say end of 2020, it was right when I was starting to do some Civ Six stuff. And, or, yeah, I started to do a lot of Civ Six, and his channel has exploded in recent years. He's got, I think, like 15, 20,000 subs now. He was in the Civ game, one of the big tournaments. Even did some collab work with Potato McWhiskey, who is a juggernaut in the, the Civ community. So probably not going to get to do a collab um, with him. Would love to get to do a collab with somebody, though, in 2022. Uh, last channel goal, continue to improve SEO on existing videos. My search engine optimization is still even a bit to be desired, and I want to make sure that I'm getting better with that as I go into the new year. I went back, and I think I took like a day or two and was doing a bunch of uh, work on... Dang, what was it? I think it was my Star Realms video. So I was doing a bunch of work getting those fixed up. And I think I got back to like chapter 18 and everything before that. I still need to do some repairs. I did lose somebody. Uh, Javen died of old age, which is more imperative that I get these things built. I'm also going to get my first camp. I'm also going to get a campfire put out. I'm going to put that. I will put that there actually because I can do a. Uh... Let's actually uh, prioritize the logs. 
Actually there. Then there. Put that in mid, mid ground. And then like a lower priority. I need to get the forester built up. So I can actually start planting new trees. I'm getting some stuff put up. But at the same time, I need to be using the logs that I got. Okay. Cool. I now have a forester. And I can start planting stuff. So, pause here. Um... You have birch trees, which will give you one log every nine days. Pine trees, which will give you two logs and two pine resin every 12 days. Or maple trees. It takes 30 days to grow maples, unfortunately. Uh, otherwise, I would have done this already. And you also have chestnut trees, but they take a little bit longer to grow. So I'm going to do a line of birch trees, I think. I'll do it like right about here. And now I'm not getting some of this stuff because it's already being designated as pine tree areas. Or, they're like, there's already pine trees growing in this section. So I'll do that, and the forester is going to now get to work. He's going to go out, and he's going to start planting trees everywhere he can. He's going to clear out area. He's going to be busy. Okay. There he goes. Go ahead and get that done up. And it's going to be a little hard to see in there now. Oh, there we go. Click off, get into my planning view. Also, figure out where the heck my WASD keys are. I'm way off the mark right now. Need to get... Some housing built. I want to try to get at least a berth done here. Yeah, it looks like all the beavers are asleep. Once they start up, we'll actually get the uh, fire uh, pit built. The campfire, excuse me. This is going to improve their social work. Also, here comes the drought. I'm three days away from it. Oh, wait, do I have my... Damn, I am short on science right now. I need to get the uh, last bits of science going. Go ahead and turn that one on. So I've got a lot of things that need to be done in the next three days. Also got an autosave dropping in. I'm going to turn you off because we've got things to do right now. Also need to drop down a warehouse to store some of these carrots because I can store carrots in some spots, but I can easily do more. So we'll go into here. We'll do a small warehouse. That's where I put this one back here the way I did. And you saw that it could stack. A um, bit of a higher level move that you can do in this game is put your warehouses. Hey, there we go. We got our happiness up to level 5. You need 11 for all of this. So you got to do a lot of things to make your beavers happy. Uh, to, get them, to get them to that point. Uh, looks like we're getting everything moved right now. We do have our first beavers uh, in some housing. We're at 84 science at the moment. I also want to make sure these two things get built. And you can see I've got the river mostly blocked off. I don't. If I don't have the... If I don't have the levees researched by the end of today, I'm probably going to be in trouble. Let's see. Yeah, landscaping. I'm just close. I'm just short of it. I've got the water that'll get me through, but I don't know if I'm going to have the... Yeah, I think I'm going to come up short. Damn it. We'll pause on that. Ah, damn. I was really hoping I can get the uh really hoping I can get this thing done in time. Just not I don't think it's gonna happen here. So I'm gonna put this last two down. And these guys, these guys may not grow. That's gonna be a problem for me. I do have an unemployed beaver. Go ahead and increase there. Yeah, not going to make it in time. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping I could actually get this done up. This is a really ambitious start for me, getting all these things done. I'm now able to store more carrots and things, but with this drought coming in, that's going to be a problem. But 80 water... This is going to be close, because usually a beaver takes three water per day. 
and this is a three day drought. Damn. So had I been able to fully block the river, I'd actually be able to get more of this done. Because there's the water's gone here. I think I've been able to stop most of it. I'm able I've slowed most of the flow down with it. I want to fully stop the flowing of water though. Okay, wait. Put a levee there instead. There we go. So now the water is only flowing through this one spot in the river. And I'm still able to pump water. I think. It is going down, mind you. As this water is starting to flow out. Bit of a problem for me. I'd be surprised if I'm actually able to accomplish this. I'm down to 10 beaver. Nope, haven't lost any more beavers. Up oh, here it goes. You can see it's starting to dry out this way, too. Come on, guys. Get that one done up. Ah, there it goes. Okay, so everything's dry now. But these seedlings will dry out in... Wow. Seriously. The exact amount of time I have left in the drought. That's unfortunate. Alright, so... I've still got water. I've still got some food. Yeah, if anything, we'll just keep... We're going to keep collecting materials that we need and keep generating science as well. But actually, I know exactly what we can do right now. Build some housing. That's four. There we go. We'll build some houses up in the meantime. We're still going to have the comfort going. Hopefully we can get our first pups born in this before the end of the cycle. Let's see how we're doing. Shelter's pretty poor. Campfire's pretty poor. Note you saw there's other things like potatoes. That could be grown, too. Unfortunately, not a lot that can be done right now. Um, we've still got some water that's going to get us through this next, like, 8.8 .8 days. The problem that really comes through with this, and it bugs me that I wasn't able to get this done, is that these carrots are going to dry out in just essentially the exact same amount of time that we have left. So I have to rip up all these carrots. i got to replant them, and it's going to be another three days. Before this is done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to put somebody out here. Now, these berry bushes, they do have the ability... They're going to dry out, but they don't dry out super, super fast. So it's going to be a little bit of food to tide my folks over while this is being replanted. It's unfortunate, but it's what i got to work with right now. We've almost got all of our logs done, which is good. And I think the next thing I'm going to research is stairs. Wooden stairs. Amazingly, it actually takes like 70 research points, and I can do some stuff up top, maybe even do something with this farmhouse and put a different farmhouse in. You see it all drying out there. That's all the carrots, that's all the, it's all these things drying out. But, since the cycle's starting, here comes the water. Rolling down the hill and turn it all over green. I think I'm going to do is probably put a planter or a harvest or tree harvesting flag way up here. Yep, we're going to mark that whole area. We'll put a lumberjack flag right here next to the path that I'm going to put. There we go. And we're going to get, hopefully, a beaver to go up there and do that. We did have a first, uh, we had our first birth. It took into cycle two to get it there. We'll go ahead and turn that on. I want to get more water ready to go. Also, make sure we have plenty of trees being planted for obvious reasons. All right. And again, 
I am, I'm really enjoying playing this game because it's so beautiful. It's really, really nice. Like, I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing here. I do need to slap a log pile down, too, actually. I think a log pile would do kind of good right about here. It's relatively centralized, this. So we can actually have logs that are brought down to here and from over here over to here when I'm not using a bunch of stuff right now. Granted, right now, I'm kind of using everything I got. Um, I've got one beaver born so far. The lumberjack flags two or three. Two centers there. I'll turn this guy... I'm going to leave this guy on just for a little bit. Once we get another person available, we're going to start getting more trees cut down up here. I'm at the 30-minute mark, but this isn't the worst start I've had. I'm still really enjoying this game, though. It's just... It's visually appealing. I do like the vibrant greens, the vibrant colors that you're seeing with this. The beavers, obviously, cute as hell. And the ingenuity that the devs have put into this. I think this is a really good thing they've done. And... Oh, wow, that rooftop terrace is big. Having, uh, I just, I like it. I, I also don't like hitting my microphone. Sorry about that. This, to me, is enjoyable. It's relaxing. And uh, hopefully it's relaxing for you, too. I'm going to put a cut in here. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.